Hey coach, so happy you found us on YouTube. Uh, we're very excited, I'm in my happy place in, in an empty gym, but I'm in my happy place. Uh, let me know, first of all, subscribe and like, so hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell up above and you'll get notifications. We put a new video up every day to help you become a better basketball coach. Um, and if you're looking to take your coaching to the next level, come over and join us. Let me help you put a couple pictures on your wall um, at teachhoops.com. Come over and join us there and let's head back to the video. All right, today we're gonna to talk about entry plays. So, <laughs> coach, <you're, laughs> the, the, the listeners will love this because you know they've listened to me for years. Before we came on live, I, was, the entry, I had to ask coach what he meant by entry plays. <laughs> so he's gonna to explain to you all what he means by entry plays because he already explained it to me but I just needed to feel like I had a foundation of this before we get going. Cause there's lots of different wording and vocabulary is important for coaches. No doubt. Um, you know, that's one of the tidbits I always tell all my members and in any, and, and in social media everywhere. It's like, you, you should have a glossary of your terminology. Entry play is not one that I use in my terminology. I use like quick hitter or other things. So coach is going to explain what he means by entry play. And then we're going to talk about a couple um, I think having to do with Kansas's offense or something, but he's going to talk about what he means by entry play. So go ahead, coach. Well, coach just nailed it with the terminology. So there's three different things that coaches, you know, depending on where you're at, call it. And there's either false motions, uh, entry play, or decoy motion. Um, it's more of a false motion to get in that's going to give you a couple options Um where you can potentially score before getting into your continuity offense. So uh, my example is in our Kansas offense, our three out two in, if we just come down the floor every single time and we got, you know, five yeah. here and four here and we're in our three out two in, the, the defense is going to start to key in on some of that stuff, right? Well, and they're, if they're more athletic, here's what, here's my theory with this too, coach. If I'm more athletic, you're going to have problems getting the, I love the name entry play, to be honest with you, because if you can't enter the ball, you got problems. Correct. And I'm so, I'm so glad you brought that up because you have to have pressure release plays with yes. your playbook um, because they're going to deny the wings. They're going to deny the posts. They're going to be denying all these things. And if your offense relies on a pass being made to a wing, you're in trouble and you're already out of your offense already. So now what do you do? You're gonna and do if it. you're not as good or as athletic as the opponent you're playing, <laughs> you better have more than one entry play because no, I'm looking at the, for people that are listening. He has like a one four set right now. Like I've had teams that like, we couldn't enter the, I mean, we couldn't enter the ball. Like yep. we had, a, yep. we had to spend practice, major practice time on just getting the ball. Once we got into the offense, that's why I love, I do love this name. And first of all, I, one of the reasons I love doing my podcast because I'm always learning stuff, but I love that name entry play because you need to be able to enter the ball to do anything. Like once most teams get into their offense, you're okay. Unless you're so mismatched. Yep. Um, but it's that initial like six seconds of bringing the ball over half court. That's yep. so difficult. Well, and somebody where there's ball pressure. Yeah. Because if there's crazy ball pressure and they make you pick up the ball and then all of a sudden you're like, what's going on here too? And, and then you're out of your offense, you know, without the wings even being denied. Or then they can really get up and deny. They can really get up and deny. And if they're more athletic, it's hard. All right, so let's talk about these two. So do they have name? Do you, do you, first of all, do you name your entry plays? How do you oh, do yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is called, well, this is DC Kansas fan. So it's our, so they know it's, it's Kansas fan as a flare. We got a flare coming somewhere in here. I try to name my plays that make it um, easy for my kids to understand because of the terminology and the vocabulary. It's like, I can basically walk them through what we're going to do. So yep. you, you can so, see. So I'm, before we go on, so that's, yep. that's a golden nugget for all the coaches that are listening. Name the play. Who cares if your opponents know? literally I will call plays post entry. I don't care if you know that we're going to, because if we run it right, we're still getting it into the post for the entry. Yep. Keep it simple because if they had, there's, there's, there's stuff I've read that if the kids have to process more than one thing, you want them to process one thing. Like if they have to process coaches calling it orange Kansas, you know, slice and it has nothing to do with Kansas or the color orange or any, they have to process that and then figure out they got to go set a ball screen. Right. 
just call ball screen and it's easier for them to process. So go, that's a golden nugget that coach just gave you, but go yeah. ahead. And you can see here too, the DC stands for dribble entry, the D and the C stands for circle. And what I end with is you, which you'll see in the next play here, which is okay. Utah, which is a pick and roll. And all that is, is you got number one dribble entry. So we don't have to worry about making a pass. So over describe just... these coach. So people that are listening. Okay, so okay. We're, we start off in a high 1-4 set. Number one uh, has got the ball, the point guard up top, and he is going to dribble, he or she, is going to dribble over to the wing. And, and number two is going to get out and come down here and receive a down screen from number five and kind of go into some people call this zipper action, yeah, loop action, circle action, whatever you call it at your school or right. where you're at um, is whatever. But, um, and that will free up a pass to number two. Okay. Um, that'll take us over here to the second part of the frame. Now, once one comes over and makes that pass to two, you can see in frame number two here, right. Um, three is popping up. Okay. Um, is going to sprint to the ball. So we're not going to jog up. We might right. even create a little contact, um, into his defender here and then sprint up and receive, right. Get some space. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Number one's going to cut through all the way to the weak side corner. Okay. And you can see five, and, and number one's also going to be coming off of four, who's going to set like a fold screen over here on the weak side too. So, so we might actually have a pass from three to one right here as I go to frame three. Okay. Yeah. That might be a shot. Okay. And if we do pass the ball to one here too, you know, you might look, look at the spacing we have here. If we right. You might not get to, you might not get to all these actions. That's like, the great part. That's what yeah. this is for. So you're, yeah. you're hoping to score, you know, <laughs> you might score here. I mean, you might shoot, five might, might be open. They might cheat, and you might be able to just bounce it into five to start the play. Who knows? Yeah. There you go. Exactly. Right. If they cheat that, you can always slip or something. So, so again, these entry plays are trying to give you a few scoring options before we even get into what we really, truly want to get into. And right. if you don't have a shot clock, which I think about 45 states, I mean, coach, <laughs> you know, we won't go down this road. But we won't go down this road. If you don't have a shot clock, these are even more effective because you don't got to worry about time whatsoever. So Right. So anyway, three's got the ball. We didn't pass the ball to one. Two immediately gets a back screen from five. Because if you remember back. I love that. I love that action. That, 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 that two action. Yep. It's kind of like a little bit of a flare. To, I, I love that. That is so hard for high school kids to defend. Yep. And we, oh. always, we always go over this. At, at our college right so you right. want to go for the flares depending on the shooter right i mean if yeah. this is a good shooter which we're going to make sure it is you know we want to be going over on that but if he does that and you got x5 doing this here's another read what if x5's right. got help on a good screen Poof. now we got this wide open yeah five can slip that and possibly hit that okay right so again that's what option number two or three out of this play now let's say we we pass the ball to two on the flare we don't have a shot Okay, now number four is going to flash high. Okay, so as soon as four flashes high, two is going to hit four, and now we're in our Kansas offense, which is like now, a three out, two in. It's a three out, two in. So, um, you can see here, this was after this was actually after. So, once two passes the ball to four here, five is ducking in, and we're looking for this right here. Okay. I like that. I like so that. Four's got the ball. We're looking for that. Okay. And if we don't have that, we always look, you know, shot. Okay. If we have the shot four, we'll flash, possibly have a shot. If we don't have that, we'll dump the ball to five. If we don't have that, we'll reverse the ball to one, and then we'll just go screen away, and then two will come well, back. Well, what I tell my guys, too, is, like, we run plays to get open. If you're open, take it. Like, it's like – sometimes it's like I think we get so movement in these actions, too. I yep. love that. I love that. Oh, okay, so so is the second one also a three by two or a Kansas? Yeah, it is. It, it yeah. does go into a three out two, and um, it's the same kind of basic principle, basic setup. This is DCU. Okay, so again, I, I talked about this briefly. One dribbles entry, two has the same circle. Action. So it's the same high one four. It's literally kind of the same entry as the last one to start with. It is exactly okay. the only difference this time, and this is so effective, and I don't know why. I don't really see it at the high school level. And I have no idea why. Um, NBA lots run a lot of it. High level it, college run. I, Michigan State is excellent at this. To be honest, we don't have enough time to teach some of this stuff, to be honest with you. You ask why we don't do it. It's like, I'd love to do some of this stuff, but it's like some of this takes breakdown time for at least uh, my guys. I know. 
Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, if, if you, it depends, you know, I mean, if you're drilling it on a daily basis and it just becomes embedded in their head. Um, but this, this is great. This is just a simple roll and replace. So we have the dribble entry from one that goes to the wing, two circles off the down screen from five. We hit two. Now comes the U, the, the Utah, which is coming off. So two is coming off here off four screens. So four comes up immediately on two's catch and sets that screen. So what happens here on two's catch, X4 is going to have to make a decision, right? So right. X4 is going to have to step up and help on to stop two off the, off the pick and roll. Right. And as that's happening, X5 is now going to have to take four on the roll. Right. right now if you got a stretch big who can shoot the ball and you're <laughs> replacing him up top this is the pass to make right here for a nice shot right? right now if we don't have that that's fine this is what we're looking for here anyway we're in our kansas offense by the way so this just flows into what we we normally do out of our continuity in our three out two in right. so we once again we're looking at shot Five has a shot, doesn't have it, looking to dump on the seal in by four. And if we don't have that, then we're going to reverse it to one. And then, boom, we're automatically into a double stagger on the weak side. And then, here we are, right back, back to the three out, two in. Now, and these are why these are entry plays, we're in what we really wanted to do. <laughs> right, right. Now, Which do you ever fun. run an entry play as, as after a timeout? Do you run it? When do you run your entry plays? Well, I run them all the time, but yeah, that's the best time after a timeout when let's say you haven't run your entry plays a few possessions or something like that. And you're coming out of an ATO and Hey, let's hit them with a three or four different options and then flow into our continuity. So the defense during uh, their timeout is probably going, okay, here's how we want to stop this and that. And then you hit them with this. And how many entry plays do you tend to have? Uh, well, it depends. I mean, I usually at least have one or two per continuity offense. Okay. So, yeah, if I have a five, because you have, again, we talked about this. If you're being denied, you have to have those pressure release points in anything that you run. Right, right. So but you don't want four or five probably entries for a, th for a Kansas. You probably want one or two and get really good at it. Correct. But you okay. can also, I mean, here's how simple this is, though, too. You could run DCU, right? And yep. this can go into my pride offense. This will go into my Kansas offense. And if I do this right here, and for those that can't see this, yes. I'm stretching four and five. And now what do we end? Now we're in a five out. So I got the same play that can work in three different offenses. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you leave the five in, it's kind of like a dribble drive too, a little bit. Like you can, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yep. put him in and go. now all of a sudden you have four out. And now it's kind of the dribble drive. I love that. All right. Perfect. You get, yeah. You can get super creative with it. And my book, the entry plays book, it has 60 different uh, entry plays that you can choose from that might fit into whatever it is that you do as well. So, okay, perfect. So I will put the, I will put both this so people can see it. I'll put a link for coach's book down below in the show notes so you can find it and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Perfect. Hey coach sitting here. I hope you enjoyed that video. Nothing better than sitting in an empty gym. Let me know how I can help you become a better basketball coach. Um, go over and check out, subscribe and like, you get notifications on all of these and let me know if I can help you put one of these on your wall um, or with your youth program or wherever you are. So uh, go over, check it out, teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better.